Hello. Uh, this is uh, Izitio. That is my Esperanto name. And I'm currently in a Chinese restaurant, a uh, dim sum restaurant here in Chinatown uh, in, uh, in Philadelphia. And I would like to say thank you today to Duolingo and especially the Duolingo Esperanto team. Uh, and that's right, I do speak Esperanto and I, uh, I'm not doing an Esperanto, I'm doing an English uh, for the campaign of Esperanto Lives, as you see the hashtag. Esperanto Lives um, is, is going to have me, uh, the campaign includes some questions that I'm going to answer for you. Uh, and one is, what is Esperanto? Now, some people have asked me before, what is Esperanto? And, and uh, it's a little hard to explain because it's a constructed language and not many people have heard of it, and that's why they ask. Uh, and uh, the idea is to have people learning a similar language to put everyone on the same wavelength of, of speaking instead of having to learn a language that someone already has the advantage in. For example, people who are born in the US or in Britain. Uh, you would be on the same level playing field because everyone would have to learn the language. And also, it's an easy, super easy language to learn. It's so much fun because it's similar to other languages uh, that you'll find in the European area. And it's, it's fascinating. Uh, and I tried learning Esperanto before uh, uh, using some different softwares and, and on my own in some certain ways. Uh, it didn't work out. And I found that I was, you know, being confused into my busy life. Uh, it was hard to keep up with things, and there's so many things being thrown at me because it's such an easy language. It's easy to get swallowed in so much um, at once in, time, in terms of trying to absorb the language. But I started Duolingo, which is a gamified way to learn Esperanto. And within weeks, literally weeks, or maybe not even, maybe even days of getting involved in the Duolingo Esperanto, I started to become a lot better and stronger in it. Um, and then I started to engage the community, the Facebook community of, uh, of Esperanto Duolingo, and I found out that the folks who speak Esperanto are so awesome, so nice, so cool, and it was great communicating to them, making mistakes in front of them and having them correct me, uh, because, you know, everyone started from someplace, and my Esperanto is not perfect, and I try to make videos and try to, and to, and trying to improve my, my Esperanto, but also trying to improve other people's Esperanto. Uh, and you'll notice them on, on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, The Linguistic Flow. But I, I, the reason for me wanting to learn the language started off in a way of me thinking it's a very easy language and, and it might be fun trying to experiment with this, but connecting with the people motivated me so much more and you find that in every country there are people who speak Esperanto. And I went to the Netherlands and I found folks who spoke Esperanto and they were so warm and loving, so amazing. Uh, and I connected with them. And, and, and so there are communities who speak Esperanto in, in, in almost every country and when you learn it, you can connect with them. And, and through the digital world that we're living in now, it's certainly useful and, and wonderful to learn this language. So I recommend it. I, and and, and so that's how I've been using it, just to improve myself, to talk with other people online. Uh, when I go visit other places, I try to find people who speak Esperanto and try to communicate with them. And, and so, yes. So today, I would like to thank you, uh, Esperanto Duolingo, for all that you've done.